everybody, I'm Debbie Adams and I'm here at scrapbook.com and I'm here to bring you some fantastic products from Spellbinders Paper Arts. I work inside the art room at Spellbinders and I absolutely love my job. I love what I get to do every day and I'm really excited to show you three different products that we produce. Um, two of the products were actually my idea because I work in the art room and I was seeing some issues that we were having and the company decided to produce those products. I'm really anxious and excited to show you those today. But let's first start off with our tool-in-one because um, our tool-in-one is one of the things we're known for. Um, if you've bought one of our machines or you have some of our dies, this is an absolute essential tool. This is called our tool-in-one. On one end is a roller brush, and on the other end is a pick, or as we like to call it, a pokey tool. Um, this is great for taking out all of the details in your intricate dies. The brush, you simply roll over your um, chemically etched dies, and all the little parts and pieces fall out. And for those that don't, you'll use the little pokey tool to poke out the rest of them. Additionally, on some of our dies, we have really small pieces, and I'll show you some today. And when they're hard to get out, there's a little tiny uh, hole in there, and you'll just push this little pick right through the hole, and the piece just pops right out. And surprisingly, it never pokes a hole in the paper. So it's a great tool to have. What's nice about this is it holds and stores other tools on the inside of this as well. As you can see, the little we have the little spatula tool on the inside. The spatula tool is really cool to use as well. This is great for scraping up underneath some of the paper that's attached to the chemically etched dies. To change our tool, we have some little knobs that are featured right along here, and there's a little tiny metal ball, a little indicator right here inside on the tool-in-one, and you're just gonna line that up. So we'll pull that back again, and then we're gonna line up those little dots, and you have a selection. You can make it as long as you want it or as short as you want it. We also have some other tools that um, work with this as well, so we're gonna change those out. So we have the pick, we have the spatula, and we have the stylus, and our stylus comes in three different sizes. We have a small, medium, and large. This is the large one. This is great for um, embossing, whether you use embossing on a die or just like to uh, emboss on stencils or something of that nature. But um, it's also great for shaping flowers and you know, you'll just roll it around into your flowers and the petals will form up. So that's what a, uh, this tool is good for. And we have, like I said, this is the large. Then we have the medium. And it's really hard to see, but there's a little tiny tip on that. And all of those fit right inside of here. And then we also have our um, foam applicator. This is great for when you wanna use some sort of uh, inks onto your projects. You slimply, oh, gotta line those up. There's your foam applicator. We sell the round ones and we also have rectangular ones. And they're great, you just put them in your ink and they use it to smudge around your projects. And then this is our quilling tool. A quilling tool, I don't know if some of you are familiar with that, but that's where you insert a tiny strip of paper and you're able to curl it up and it forms like little flowers or little leaves. And if you'll notice right in here, observe there's a little tiny slit and that's for where the paper goes. So this is our quilling tool. And then finally, we have our brayer. And same thing, line that up there. There's little notches right here and you'll put them in your tool. You'll run this through your ink, and then you can ink up your project. You can ink up your embossing folder. It serves a variety of purposes. You can just ink up your paper, and um, you're good to go. Now I wanna talk about two of my favorite products, and then we're gonna go into a project using these. Okay, this is called our piercing mat, and what this is great for is when you are working with those dies, and you've cut out the little pieces of paper and you're trying to poke out all the parts and pieces, you can use this little mat to poke that. And it's a, it's a self-healing mat, they will they will go away. Okay, what I really love about this mat, and it was one of the ideas that I had, um, I was constantly losing my dies um, on my desk. Um, 
they were getting lost under paper, they were falling off into the floor. And if you know, once they're gone and you can't find them, you have to buy a whole new set. You can't just buy that little tiny circle, that little tiny leaf, or that little tiny flower. And it's really unfortunate. And so we designed this mat that has a magnetic strip underneath here that you can't see. So when those little tiny pieces are, you're working off of this mat, they will get stuck on the edge and they will prevent it from falling off. Pretty handy, huh? So that's what's really nice about this mat is it holds all those different pieces, but also you can flip it over and it makes a great surface for stamping. It's a harder surface, it's smooth, um, and it's got all its grids so you can line up things when you're working on your projects. And also again, it has the magnetic strip at the top. So either which way, this one is sure to be something you're gonna wanna keep on your desk. And then finally, I wanna show you, this is the main attraction. This is my baby, I love it. Um, I'm gonna be honest here and tell you where my inspiration came from. This is actually a magnet and it attracts all of your dies, as you can see right here. So it's really an awesome tool to have. And um, so we created one that had a super cool trendy shape. And uh, one of my favorite colors is aqua, so we made it out of the aqua color. I keep this on my desk. And you know what, if you're not into doing the die cuts, you have other hobbies, this is also great for your straight pins for sewing. It's great for paper clips, um, a paperweight. It looks nice on your table. It's just a great tool to have, and um, I love it. So you'll definitely want to check this out. So today I'm gonna to go ahead and get started on a project and it's, I'm going to show you some of the tools that I'm gonna to use to get that project completed. So first of all, I'm going to take um, a card base and I've cut a smaller portion of that card base down and I'm using our white card and envelope set here from scrapbook.com. And I'm gonna adhere a smaller mat to the center of my card. I use pop dots, I'm a big pop dot fan. I like things dimensional, I don't like things flat. Go ahead and adhere that on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little background strip on here using this pink fresh paper. You can buy this here at scrapbook.com. This is probably one of my favorite papers. I love it, it's super trendy and fun. And I'm gonna use our adhesive. And I just put that on my card. This is great for using your scrap pieces of paper. I mean, there's so many times we wanna just throw it all away and yet it, wait till you see the card, it's super cute. And it just used a tiny little strip that you might normally have thrown away. So save some of those scraps. And then I'm gonna go ahead and layer, um, I cut another piece of our uh, paper and I'm gonna layer some of the doodle bug polka dot paper on top. And now I'm going to put this on top of my card like so. Again, those, those, those foam dots, those pop dots. And now I'm gonna add my sentiment onto my card. Um, and I've already pre-cut it using the Just For You die. And that's where my little tool in one comes in really handy. If you have a hard time pulling this up, you can use your little tool to help you with that. And that little pick tool that just picks out those little pieces. It looks like this. And I'm gonna use some pop dots. I'm not gonna use pop dots on this one. I always do my art projects usually when I put things on here in three. So you notice I have three flowers. I always do some kind of a background um, and a sentiment and then some decorative pieces. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and add my leaves. This is doodlebug paper. I love the little polka dots, obviously. I got a lot going on in this card with polka dots. And then lastly, I just come back in with my Nouveau drops and give my flowers a little center. And then my card's all done. There we go. That's it. Isn't that neat? Thanks for watching. If you like this video and wanna see more from scrapbook.com, Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting!